I fell in love with football when I was four years old. That's when I first put on pads. Speed option, Boykin is shut down. It's Allen with a stop. I, I grew up with both parents and they loved me very much. Down he goes. I love to make them proud of me, and I feel like football is what always kept me on, on, a, on a straight and narrow. Sanders pass intercepted. It's Dakota Allen still on his feet. Everybody on the team looks up to him. You watch, you know, every workout, every practice. He's giving it everything he's got. He's smiling through it. He's motivating other guys. He's a guy that the players follow because of the trials he's been through and the way he carries himself and the way he handles his business. Dakota Allen's time at Texas Tech isn't so much a road well-traveled, it's an odyssey. The fifth-year senior is in his second stint in Lubbock, more than 500 miles away from his hometown of Humble, Texas, a fitting name symbolic of not only his roots, but his journey. During winter break in 2016, a Lubbock family returned from Christmas vacation to find their home burglarized. Months later, three Texas Tech football players were charged with the theft of various electronics and a safe containing seven firearms. One of the players was redshirt freshman and rising star Dakota Allen. He called me and kind of hinted that something may be wrong and he might be in trouble. And then within an hour or two, it escalated pretty quick. And, and obviously it was a shock just because the charges didn't add up to what you know, I thought his character was at the time. Allen was released from the team along with his two teammates. The charge of second degree felony burglary also led to his expulsion from Texas Tech. His dream of playing division one football was cut short after one season. Yeah, that was one of the worst calls I've ever made as a head coach, simply because I knew what type of person he was. I knew the family he was from. I knew, you know, type of man he would be and I hated to lose him from our program because I knew if we could somehow keep him it would never happen again but uh, it was of such a serious nature that, that we had to part ways and um, that was a really tough call. I told him I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I didn't mean to let you down and, and, and I didn't mean uh, for Texas Tech football to be looked at like this. You know it was, it was out of his character uh, so it was really one really bad decision and um, he paid the price for it. Two months later, the charges against Allen were dismissed in exchange for community supervision as part of a pretrial diversion program, but the consequences were severe. His last chance at redemption was to rebuild himself at junior college, 800 miles away in Scuba, Mississippi. I'm sure it's a huge culture shock, you know. I mean, talking about a school of almost 40,000 to maybe a 1,500. Uh, it was definitely a hard transition, because usually the transition is the other way. You know, you go from JUCO to a bigger university, but um, I feel like that's definitely something I had to go through. Allen made the most of his second chance, leading the junior college power to an 11-1 record. His team leading 117 tackles didn't go unnoticed. Several schools offered Allen a scholarship, including one that never lost faith in his ability or character. I just got out of a practice, and um, I go to check my Twitter, and Coach Gibbs uh, sent me a message saying, call me when you get the chance. I give him a call, and he, his first question is, uh, what do you think about you know coming back? He couldn't believe it was true really at first. This day and age, you don't get second chances, particularly in college athletics. And I think once Dakota realized that, hey, this is really happening and, and we can make this work, um, both parties were thrilled to death. Texas Tech school officials granted Allen the opportunity to return to the Red Raiders in time for the 2016 season. And now, in his senior year, Allen continues to play like a man changed by his trials, this time as a team captain. I felt like I had to come back and prove myself, and prove I can handle being here and, and, and I can play Division I football. He uh, has worked hard and he is also respectful to what has happened in the past and he understands he can't take it away, but the value of um, what he's gonna do in the future is gonna be awesome. Red Raider fans, my teammates, my coaches, they've, they've welcomed me with open arms. 
I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but here in Lubbock. I think it gave him a great appreciation for what he had here. I think he didn't know if he'd be in jail, if he'd ever play sports again, and he was going to work his tail off to prove that, hey, that was one bad, bad mistake, but that's not going to define who I am as a person and a player. I'm glad I went through that because I learned so much. Every day, everybody goes through their own adversities. They go through their own problems. Here in the past, Texas Tech football has gone through a lot of adversity. It's not dwelling on the past, it's how you bounce back. How can we move forward? How can we get better? And I feel like if you have that mindset, they will be stronger as a team.